Hmm. Uh, do you remember a time when the banks weren't trusted? Oh yes, yes. My my uh, wife's grandfather lost his everything in two banks. One uh, out of Watertown, Minnesota, and uh, the other one at Excelsior. When the, the banks folded and, and the door was closed, money was gone. But that that for for me and my family. Uh, we're, we, we were there at home, and, and uh, uh, my my dad had a gadget that the company kept selling, and we were only actually out of work for about six months in the total time of the uh, depression. Wow. With unemployment numbers reaching above 20% in some areas, uh, economic woes and what some would call the international and systematic devaluation of our currency, what would you suggest people and families do to, to be prepared for a second Great Depression? To, to make yourself as much out of debt as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. to, 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 to stop spending. Cut it off. That's what we had to do personally. Yeah. And the company, the country's got to do it too. <laughs> well, I think if everybody did that, then that that might clear it, up it the problem make altogether. It would a world of difference, that's right. Mm -hmm. But if it were to get to a situation where the dollar collapsed or the, the economy, level five economic, whatever, collapsed, um, what would be some skill sets that that maybe have been lost from, from your generation to, to mine? Would it be uh, gardening and canning or...? Uh, well, perhaps people would resort to uh, gardening. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we did that in the Second World War. We had these little victory gardens. Yeah. Any place where there was dirt, where you dug it up and you <laughs> grew something. Mm -hmm. So that would probably have to be the um, uh, situation. Mm -hmm. If your family had known ahead of time about the 1929 crash, uh, what would have been the one thing they could have done to prepare for it ahead of time, but if they had prior knowledge? Well, to have uh, saved their money and... and uh, um, had it in some form rather than in the banks, mm -hmm. and that's where it was lost. Mm -hmm. yeah. You were in the Marine Corps, right? Yes. What um, What's the most memorable story you have from from the Marine Corps? Well, uh, I I went in the Marine Corps, and uh, I was a musician. Really? And uh, I had played in. I, I played the oboe and, and other instruments, and uh, I, I was in San Diego and playing in the bass band uh, orchestra. And um, Gunner said, uh, you, you're, "You've replaced the uh, the current oboe player, and I'll be there for two years. Go ahead, get your wife out, and and you can have rations off." Off base and everything, so I did. I got a half a half a bungalow out in, in uh, uh, the town farther on on San Diego. I got my wife out there, and we we were just living up. The, oh, it was wonderful! But all of a sudden, they're making up a draft of men to go overseas, and uh, on a Friday night. Gunner says, Herb, we're running out of men, you got to go, be up at panel tomorrow morning. And so I had to get her, tell my wife and send her home somehow, actually by way of Pasadena and her uh, aunt. And I, I went my way and uh, we went to the Hawaiian Islands and did uh, build up our division, 4th Division, 5th Division, 3rd Divisions. We're all in the islands over there, getting ready. And on um, Thanksgiving Day, we boarded a ship, went over to Pearl Harbor, 
And uh, on Christmas Day, we headed out to Iwo Jima. We didn't know where we were going, but that's, that was the island. And so the three divisions, it was an all-marine affair. And that's where we went. And I lasted 16 days before I got shot and get out of there. Mm. <laughs> so it was uh, an interesting. Then I, I came back to to uh, Pearl Harbor and and did duty there in the base band, uh, waiting to getting ready for the big uh, uh, battle of uh, Japan, mm -hmm. and they dropped the atomic bomb, so we didn't have to go. And that <laughs> that wound it up. But it was a, 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 a busy two years. That's all I spent, two years. How, how, how did you go about getting shot? Well, I was, uh, we were going up to get a, to, to, to uh, pick up a wounded uh, um, Marine, and I was the last one in the line, and, and they, Jeff woke up and shot me. <laughs> but uh, I, uh, I, 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 at that time, I, I was so tired uh, uh, you know, of slugging along in the the sand. Where? It, yeah, there it is. There it is. That's Iwo Jima. <laughs> That's Iwo Jima. Yeah. <laughs> Hold that up for the camera there. A volcano. We didn't need heat for our rations. We just suck them down the sand. Huh. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. And uh, when I when I got shot, I didn't even have a, a first aid kit on me. One of the